My grandparents had a shoe store in Reading, Pennsylvania, and they liked to travel. And in a trip to Europe, they found a gallery that had quite a number of these, and they, they were taken by them. And they bought about 10 or 12 of them, brought them back to Pennsylvania, and set them up in the shoe store as decorations. My father eventually took over the shoe store, and he operated until about 1979. And then he retired, closed the store, and at that time I was asked to pick out my four favorite ones. This was one of them, and I like this one because he's a smith, and I'm a, I'm a metallurgist by training, so I like metal work and so on, so this one particularly appealed to me. He was made in Germany and was likely new when your grandparents encountered him. There were several companies in Germany that made these pottery gnomes. Uh, they're very realistic and very well modeled in, in a German tradition that includes, by the way, doll making. And you can see many of the features you'd find in a German doll uh, in his face in particular. They were made exactly for that purpose, to be used as store displays. And so your grandparents were putting them to good use. He does have some value. Have you ever thought about the value of it? I was curious, but never really pursued it. When they're this quality in this age, and in this condition, there's a retail price in a good gallery, probably within the toy collecting world and doll collecting world. Uh, it would sell for at least $1,500, uh, and maybe as much as $2,000. Oh. That's something.